Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and Homeworld is pretty gross. <laughs> Which is a pretty funny conclusion to come to from an episode where the diamonds literally take baths. But still, the concept of Homeworld being a planet deprived of organic life, yet comprised literally of gem life, was always just one of those cockamamie headcanon theories that you couldn't exactly propose considering there wasn't any evidence to prove such a thing. But wow, <laughs> this is reality. And for me, it brings into question a lot of things as we've seen gem structures in the past, plenty actually, from statues to obelisks. So am I to presume that this only applies to homeworld and not the worlds that they colonize as well? I don't know. So with that, what can we say about the crystal heart in the temple? This could very well be the process of gem harvesting itself. And I already called Familiar a Disney movie based on its song, so this whole thing just furthered that comparison. This is easily one of the most Disney inspired episodes of Steven Universe ever, but I don't say that as a bad thing. I am genuinely intrigued. This is an alien aspect of Homeworld that I'm really curious about. I mean, it's no ego the living planet from Marvel or anything, but it is fascinating nonetheless. Like, these gems are capable of comprehending speech, but as we may see from the halls leading to Yellow's extraction chamber, they choose not to speak with Steven despite being spoken to, as they probably fear getting in trouble or see it as a test of some sort. They converse amongst one another, but cease upon being seen. If anything, by being the hallway, they probably have a lot of information to gossip about, so that's cool I guess, maybe we'll get some tidbits from them later on. But anyways, there are gems embedded within pretty much all of the statues that we're able to see in this episode, so they're all alive in some capacity. I'm really curious what one would have to do to receive such a fate, like they couldn't be traitors, could they? I mean, maybe it's like a court sentence, that rather than being shattered, to punish them for failing to perform their role as desired, they're made to literally hold Homeworld together and become one with it on some insane patriotic stuff. Like, I certainly do not believe these gems to be off-colors in the sense of being defective, because as we know, defective gems are just obliterated on the spot, they're not kept. But if we're talking about off-colors that do things like fusion and things like that, then maybe. I don't know, it's creepy and it is apparent that Steven will focus on it properly at some point, probably over the course of these episodes, and if these gems are in fact oppressed or in some sort of dismay or peril, we all know Steven is going to have a problem with that and try to help them, that's just who he is. And I mean, there's just a ton of creative routes that the crew can take with this one, so the potential surely is there. But yeah, let me know what you're thinking about all this in the comments. Never in all my time theory making did I think that we would ever have a comb gem, but here we are. <laughs> Post Rose Quartz being Pink Diamond, it seems like anything is possible. Thank you all so much for watching and have an awesome day. I love you. you think